Today I'd like to talk to any parents who are interested in getting started in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy who have absolutely no idea what they're doing, who don't know anything about classical Catholic education and are overwhelmed when they look at the Classical Liberal Arts Academy website. The Classical Liberal Arts Academy is overwhelming for good reason. What we're restoring is something that's really incredible, something that could never be restored if we were dependent on printed books and study materials. The website contains over 100 courses, thousands and thousands of lessons, and thousands of thousands of assignments and assessments. It's a massive project. And when you visit the Academy website, you're looking at the tip of a massive iceberg of information and study materials. And so, when you look around, if you feel overwhelmed, if it seems like every time you click on a link, more links appear, that's because that's actually true of our website. And... You're not going crazy. As a homeschool parent, however, there's no need for you to be able to wrap your mind around everything on our website. Much of what's on our website is probably none of your business, nothing for you to worry about or concern yourself with. It may never be something that you need to concern yourself with. And therefore, the best way to enter the Classical Liberal Arts Academy and get started is by simply focusing only on what's of interest to you or to your children and ignoring everything else. If you get started well, as you go along, more and more will begin to make sense. As your children work through the first courses, the more advanced courses will begin to make more sense. And over time, you'll settle in and be able to make great progress over the long haul. Throughout that time, as your children are studying, you can be learning as well. You can be learning alongside your children because you'll be seeing the lessons that they're studying. But you'll also see the articles that I publish. You can listen to the talks that I publish. You can ask questions. And you'll learn more and more. And each time a new set of decisions needs to be made, you'll be able to make those decisions with some prudence And over time, especially if younger children get started, you'll have all of that experience to draw on and things will get easier and easier. So my advice to you, if you're new to the Classical Liberal Arts Academy or if you're interested in giving your children the education that the saints enjoyed, My advice is to focus on the decisions that are immediately in front of you. Gather as much information as you can to make them prudently and be patient. You can learn little by little as you go along. In this talk, I'd like to address a couple of important principles that 
make the Classical Liberal Arts Academy different from any other school or study program that I think will be very helpful for you as you get started. As a parent, we don't ask you to pretend that you're a teacher of the classical liberal arts. In fact, we want you to be able to give attention to all of your responsibilities as a wife, a mother, or a husband and father. We want you to be able to attend to all of your responsibilities while also giving your children the best education possible, the education that was enjoyed by saints and wise men throughout history. If you see other homeschool families posting pictures on social media or in newsletters, and it looks like they're trying to recreate a modern school in their house, you don't need to pay attention to that because that's not how classical Catholic education works. That's just modern education with all of its stuff. The first thing that needs to be understood about true classical Catholic education is that the curriculum is not being designed by us. The curriculum that we study is not something that we're trying to figure out. It's not something that's dependent on our own education and judgment. It's something that's been given to us, just like the Catholic faith has been handed down to us in the Catechism, or the sacred writings have been handed down to us in the sacred scriptures. In the same way, the classical Catholic curriculum that's available in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy has been handed down to us by ancient prophets, philosophers, wise men, doctors of the church, and saints over thousands of years. If you'd like to learn about this historical development of the classical Catholic curriculum and understand how it started, how it developed, and what happened to it in modern history, I recommend you read through the book that I've written, Understanding Classical Catholic Education. That book is intended for homeschool parents, and you can download a free copy of that book on the Classical Liberal Arts Academy website. But it's important to understand that this work of Catholic education is not some fool's errand or impossible mission to be carried out by people like us who are not qualified for any such work. The classical Catholic curriculum was handed down to us it was lost for a long time, for hundreds of years. It's been abandoned and lost, but it's been recovered. And we simply need to study it, to learn it, to work through it, and help our children do so. And it's important to understand that. We don't need to create the curriculum we don't need to answer all the complicated questions about what our children should study. Those questions have been answered for us. We simply need to learn what the answers to those questions are. And then we need to trust in the authoritative sources that tell us those answers and carry out the work of that classical Catholic education. Second of all, the classical Catholic curriculum was not designed for modern schools, and we don't need to bring 
modern school ideas into the classical Catholic curriculum. The modern K-12 curriculum, with all of its different grade levels and subjects and books and materials, we can ignore all of that. Our children, after all, are not in a grade school. Our children are not in a class of their peers, sorted by their age, studying a particular grade level in a modern school. All of that is artificial, and by homeschooling, we don't participate in that system or method of education. Rather than talking about what grade our children are in, we're going to focus on the true subjects of a real classical Catholic curriculum and focus on our children's progress in those subjects because these subjects are real. They're real arts and sciences and our children's progress in these courses is real progress, not artificial modern school progress. We're not concerned with leading our children to a diploma or even a degree. We're trying to lead our children to true wisdom. So, like Aristotle says, so that we may not merely know what virtue is, but that we we may actually be good men. We're seeking to raise wise and good children. And therefore, we want them to progress in a real Catholic curriculum, not in an artificial secular school curriculum. So we focus on the subjects that our children need to study And all we concern ourselves with is their progress in those courses. Sometimes the classical Catholic curriculum in some areas leaves our children behind the schools in particular concepts or subjects. For example, we may not give attention to certain lessons in language arts or certain lessons in modern mathematics at a particular point in our children's education with the classical Catholic curriculum. And so a third grade public school for a time might advance past our children in one particular topic because in our curriculum that's not a focus at that time. We simply need to accept that. It's not a big deal. It's no problem. And we need to keep our eyes focused on our true goal, which is not winning the award for the highest score on every standardized test. But our goal is to raise wise and good children. We study through a real curriculum. And our focus is the long-term goal. We're not judging our children's education by short-term artificial tests, but by long-term real virtues, knowledge, character, and so on. So first of all, we're not in the business of designing our own curriculum or restore or or creating a curriculum. We're working to restore a curriculum and learn what wise men and saints have taught us that we should learn. And secondly, we focus not on artificial school testing or requirements, but on true 
on true requirements for a classical Catholic education. When we enter into the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, everyone starts from the same place. I like to give the illustration of a staircase. If a family enters into a a large house and in front of them is a great staircase, and the goal is to get to the top of the staircase, and the parents were to ask, where do we begin? This question comes from ideas of modern education. In the modern education, all of the grade levels are artificial, and kids can move in and out of schools, change schools, And when they move into a new school, they just pick up where they left off or somewhere close to where they left off because the entire curriculum has such low standards that almost every grade level starts over again. In the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, there's a real ascent from the bottom to the top. There's no way that anyone who has never studied the classical liberal arts can start anywhere but at the bottom. And they need to climb step by step from the bottom up to the top. So whether a student is coming in at age 14 or at age 8, they're going to start at the bottom step, and they're going to work their way up. Students who start at an older age are going to move more quickly, and eventually things are going to level off. Children who start at a young age are going to get a head start, but they're going to move more slowly. So in the long term, again, if we keep our eyes focused on our long-term goals, These things aren't a big deal, but when we get started, they often can be a little confusing to new parents. That first step in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy consists of two, maybe three, courses. The first course is Classical Grammar. The second course is Catholic Catechism. And the third course, if desired, would be Introduction to Classical Arithmetic. These are the courses that we recommend to new students, and they represent the first step in the study of the Classical Catholic Curriculum. And I'll repeat that. Classical Grammar... Catholic Catechism, and Introduction to Classical Arithmetic. This is where the Classical Liberal Arts Curriculum starts. And it starts at the same place for every student. In Classical Grammar, students learn the first of the Classical Liberal Arts, the first art of the ancient trivium, which is grammar. They study the English language, but they learn it in a way that's intended for students who are going to study Latin and Greek in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. It's an English grammar course that's intended for classical schools. Classical grammar teaches them the grammar of the English language, and helps them to think of language as they're going to need to think of it in order to study and understand the classical languages. In Catholic Catechism, students begin studying the Baltimore Catechism. This is a traditional 
Catholic catechism that's written in question and answer format, making it very easy to study. And it can be studied at one of three different levels, because each level includes all of the content of the levels beneath it. Children who have not yet received First Communion should study Baltimore Catechism I, but they may also begin in Baltimore Catechism II. That's up to the parents. Children who have already received First Communion should study Baltimore Catechism II, which is preparation for confirmation. And older students who have already been confirmed, who are in their teenage years, can go ahead and begin with Baltimore Catechism III. The reason they can begin again at these different levels is because each level contains all of the content of the level beneath it. So that's Catholic Catechism. The third starting point for new students is Intro to Classical Arithmetic, and this is optional for parents. One of the challenges that children will need to address is that modern schooling places pretty rigorous demands on modern mathematical studies. There are many ways to pursue modern mathematical studies, many sources, many options, one of which is local community college courses. There are many options for how a family can pursue modern mathematics courses. And in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, we're really not interested in serving modern mathematics courses. We do provide study materials for a complete modern math curriculum from the very first lessons in arithmetic all the way up through calculus. And we offer them to families that are willing to work through them. And we believe that the program that we offer is actually the best and most efficient way to study modern mathematics. But we can't devote um, our time or resources to teaching or supporting those courses. So parents have options for how they're going to pursue modern mathematics studies for their children, but in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy, we offer the true classical mathematical arts, which are known as the quadrivium, and these are four arts that are required for the study of philosophy. And these four arts are classical arithmetic, classical geometry, classical music, and classical astronomy. These four courses together are called the quadrivium, and they make up what we could call a classical mathematics program. These courses are not offered in any modern schools, and that's why we like to focus on helping students through these courses, because they're unique to the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. And and essential to our actual mission, which is to teach the classical liberal arts. For new students, we recommend a course that we've titled Introduction to Classical Arithmetic, which walks students through most of the concepts that would be found in a modern arithmetic course, but does so in a way that introduces students to the concepts that they're going to learn in classical mathematics. So just as our classical grammar course introduces students to a way of studying grammar that's appropriate in classical studies, so our intro to classical arithmetic course introduces students to classical ideas that are in modern arithmetic. So those courses, those three courses, classical grammar, 
Baltimore Catechism at the level appropriate for the age of the child and intro to classical arithmetic are recommended for new students. And we recommend that parents start with those three courses and focus all of their attention on those three courses. Now, when parents look at the course catalog in the academy, they're often chomping at the bit to add more courses. And that's fine. But what we tell parents is not to add more courses until the students begin making progress in those first three core courses. Once students have settled in, understand how the program works, and begin to make progress through the lessons, then parents are welcome to add additional courses. The first course that we normally recommend for parents who'd like to add more is the World Chronology course. This is a humanities course that teaches the history of the world from a Catholic perspective. It teaches the history of the world from the perspective of a student who's going to be pursuing a classical Catholic education. This is a course that I've written myself. It's the most popular course in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy and has been highly praised by parents for over 12 years now. So I'd recommend enrolling in World Chronology. We make that course available at a discount because the whole course is complete with all of the exams published and there's really no work that we need to do for that course anymore. So while that course used to cost $125, we now make it available for enrollment for only $25. So that would be the first course that we would recommend after those first three core courses have been started. And then, based on the individual student, his age, his interests, and so on, we can fill out his course of studies and help him to put together uh, a set of courses that, that interest him and that really challenge him. Because the, one of the goals of our teaching is to always keep our students challenged, not overwhelmed, but challenged. So that's where studies begin in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. Next, as I talk about these things, you may be wondering, how do we manage the children's studies? As the children get started in these courses, how do we access their lessons? How do we track their progress? And so on. And this is very, very simple in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. This is actually one of the things that parents love the most about studying in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy is the simplicity of record keeping and progress uh, tracking. When a student enrolls, we create, and this is done manually by us in the office, we create a unique student page for that student. And on that student page, we provide links to the current lessons that the student is working on in each course. The student then, whenever he wishes to begin his studies, simply goes to his student page and he has convenient links to his current lessons in each of his courses. This makes tracking progress very simple because all a parent needs to do is look at the student page and he can immediately see where the student is at in each of his courses. All of the confusion and chaos of modern school record keeping, progress reports, and all of that 
administrative work is eliminated by the simplicity of our student page, which, as I said, is managed manually by the school office. When a student completes a lesson, completes the assessments or completes the assignment for a lesson, he is simply moved to his next lesson and his student page is updated. And it's just that simple. He doesn't need a username or a password. He simply needs to have the web address for his student page, which after some time he'll memorize. And he simply goes to that page and can view the links to his current lesson. It's very, very simple. We can also provide a parent page with convenient links to each of the family's student pages. So progress tracking, lesson management is very, very simple and will never be a problem for your children in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. And that's how things get started and develop. And as I said, you're really going to just focus on your children's progress in these courses. And as a parent, if you want to help your children, you're simply going to help them work through the tasks for each lesson and help them to review their studies. Many times they have simple memory work to review that parents can easily help with, and to work through the assessments for each lesson. So a parent can help by learning how to easily submit assignments for review and grading. A parent can help by quizzing a child in memory work that needs to be completed before an assessment is taken. A parent can read a lesson out loud to children to help them work through the content of a lesson. And that's really all that a parent will need to do. It's very simple. The goal for parents is not to present themselves as teachers and make the children dependent on them because after a short time, very few parents are going to be able to continue helping their children as they advance in their studies. And the goal is for children to learn how to communicate with the tutors and with the office administration to get help on their own. They can contact the office on their own. They can use live chat or email. And they can learn to help themselves. And as they get older and into more advanced studies, they become more and more independent. And most of our students working in their teenage years are working in advanced subjects that their parents will admit they can no longer help them with. But the students have learned how to communicate, how to do the work themselves, how to complete and submit assignments and so on, and this is no problem. So that's our goal, to lead the students to become independent workers who can communicate on their own, get the help they need by themselves, and become less and less dependent on their parents' help. And this will allow parents to be able to turn around and give more attention to the younger students who do need their help. So I think that if you can focus on the immediate decisions, as I said at the beginning of this talk, focus on what your children need to do first, focus day by day on simply making progress in their core studies, then adding courses as you wish, and then give attention to helping your children become more and more independent as students. And all I mean by that is that they are able to seek help on their own when they need it. If you're able to do those things, you're going to see your children fare well in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. And we have many students working through advanced lessons that would probably shock parents and would have shocked their parents if they knew what their children would be doing 
seven, eight, or nine years down the road. To get started, all that you need to do is go ahead and enroll your children in your desired courses. You can do this by purchasing individual course enrollments, which is the simplest way to enroll. Uh, Our courses normally cost $125 for enrollment. That includes all study materials, assessments, support, uh, assignment grading, and so on. And there are no deadlines for these courses. So once enrollment is purchased for a course, the student can work at his own pace, and there are no expiration deadlines to worry about. Once purchased, a course enrollment never expires. That's the simple way to go about enrollment. If you'd like instead to make a simple monthly payment, you can create an enrollment subscription for a student or for your entire family. The basic student enrollment costs $25 per month and covers the enrollment cost of any courses that the student needs. So when you get started with three courses or four courses, you would simply pay $25 a month. And when it's time to add more courses, you would simply continue your subscription. The subscription covers all needed courses, all courses that are requested and approved by the Academy office. When I say approved, we don't allow parents to add too many courses, not because we're concerned about losing money or anything like that with the subscriptions, but because adding more courses than a student can actually work through makes a mess of the student page, creates confusion for the student, and ends up hindering student progress. We'd like to keep the student's student page simple so he can focus on his core lessons and concentrate on progress. There's a premium student plan which adds a few academic services to the basic student plan. A premium student plan includes a one-hour weekly chat meeting between the student and Mrs. Michael, who helps the student to take care of any house cleaning type tasks that need to be done, updating the student page, um, reviewing student work that needs to be reviewed, and answering any questions about lessons that the student might have. We give one hour meeting by a live text chat to help a student get help that he needs at a scheduled time each week. The other benefit of premium support is that a student, anytime he finishes an assignment, can hop on live chat, submit his assignment, and have it graded immediately. The third benefit of the premium subscription is that the student uh, is welcome to attend any of our live online classes with no additional payments. So those three benefits are very great, actually, and they're available through the premium student subscription. For both of these subscriptions, there's also a family equivalent. The standard family plan provides all study materials for all students in a family, and parents are included in students, so parents can study as well. Covers the enrollment costs of all courses for all students in a family with support and grading, just like the individual student plan. And then there's a premium family enrollment, which includes all the benefits of the premium student plan for each child in the family. So to summarize that quickly, a family may simply enroll in individual courses or purchase an enrollment subscription plan. If the family purchases an enrollment subscription plan, it's important to understand that course enrollments 
are not necessary. They're included in that subscription. But different parents choose different options based on how they like to handle finances. Some like to make one-time payments and purchase courses in full. Other families prefer a monthly payment that can be budgeted. And that's really the only difference. In addition to all that, one last thing just to wrap up is that we offer or we're going to begin offering live online classes. These classes are open to all students. Enrollment or participation in a class requires a payment of $5 per class. Parents can choose to have children participate in any live online class they wish. And they're intended to help students learn the concepts that will be required of them in their online courses in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. All of the information that I've shared in this talk is available on the Academy website. I hope that gives you a good idea of how you can get started in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. As I said, the feeling that What we offer is overwhelming and confusing is reasonable because what we are offering is incredibly complex and the the list of subjects and courses is very great, numbering over 100 courses. So that sense of confusion is understandable But it needs to be avoided by focusing just on your children's current studies and always remaining focused on your children's current studies. If you have any questions that I haven't answered in this talk, I'd like to invite you to contact me. I'm always available to discuss any questions you have, no matter how simple, no matter how practical or silly you might think they are. Many of these little practical things are the keys to success. So don't think that you're going to ask any question that I haven't heard before. You can also help yourself to information in our help center. If you click on the support link on the menu on our website, you can search for questions or terms and use the self-help content that's already there waiting for you on the website. And you can access that 24 hours a day. So please contact us if you have any other questions. And we look forward to helping you get started in the Classical Liberal Arts Academy. God bless your studies.